Hey again, and welcome back. Today is the day we are going to upload this to JLC PCB, and we will see what's going on with our board. Maybe it's going to be good the first shot. Maybe it'll need a little bit of a rework. Spoiler alert, it's the second option. Here we are on JLC PCB's website. I'm going to switch this here to ship to Canada. Canada, there we go. And currency, Canadian dollars. All right. So five is the standard number, uh, 100 by 100. Quote now. So zero dollars for the 24 hour. But there's a special offer for your first one. Add your Gerber file. All I did was I grabbed all the Gerber files and the DRL files that were created, uh, plus the, I guess, the cache, that were created by KiCad, and I put them all in a zip file. So press open. We will see what happens. I swear I have decent internet even though I live in Canada. Okay, so looks like we are not getting quoted extra because we uh, made a <laughs> massive board, <laughs> which is which is good. That was the plan. It is under their 100 by 100. Um, five PCBs. Uh, I think. Let's see, if I go 10, yeah, see it goes, it tr like triples in price almost, so we'll start with 5. <clears throat> that was the reason for me, um, you know, having these sort of panelized versions. I wish, uh, you can do score cuts, but I hear that uh, JLC PCB is kind of a little difficult by that. They sometimes will let you, sometimes they won't. Um, here we go, FR4, panel, let's see, panel, you have to, I think you have to pay extra for that. Um, flying probe test, I don't know what that means, just leave it as is. So one different design, customer ID, no, oh, that means you can take off the number on the silk. Uh, I think there's a Gerber viewer, yeah, right here. So let's see what they kind of figured See, yeah, to me that looks fine. Uh, everything looks good. I'm gonna zoom in some more. Can I zoom in some more? Or is it just trying to get? Now yeah, my browser's trying to zoom. But you see, these pads are kind of. So that's odd. These are supposed to be connected to. The planes. Oh, this, this this one is. Why the heck is this one not? And this one, and this one. Okay. Well, this is the good part about a Gerber viewer, is you can check out and see what's wrong. I did add a trace there by accident. Okay. Back to the keycad then. Aha. I did not catch this. But if you look... When it re-poured, it didn't pour all these other ones because these guys don't have a net. I wonder how far back I can... Oh. <coughs> Uh-oh. Where's the redo? Control Y. Y. Look at that. They are not poured like these are. Okay, so let's delete, let's go back, actually all the way back to here. And then we'll control S this. Now we'll run a design rule check. Um, inspect, no. Mm. It's got to be a design rule check here. Ah. Run DRC. Of 
courtyards overlap. What does that mean? What am I looking at? It's not there. It's either front or back copper. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's uh let's grab this. Zones unfill all. I see these four corners, I don't understand. That silk should be on the front, so that shouldn't be a problem. You do run into things when you're a beginner. Uh, so zones fill all. So that seems all right to me. Let's do a design rule check again. Run, let's go delete all markers. Run DRC. All right, so copper areas intersect or are too close. Uh oh, that's why it's on back copper. Delete all markers, close. Okay, so this guy here. seems to be two there's two nets here let's um, let's delete this delete there we go now we should be good front copper is separate from back copper okay so let's run DRC again courtyards overlap footprint J1 on front copper and footprint uh, yeah courtyards I think they're just the physical components so we're going to yeah I think we're going to accept that I think that's okay so that is one of these things. Uh, front courtyard. Delete this. Yeah, I can I can see that. That's okay. I'll accept that. That's just uh, I think that's the physical size. That's the problem. But that's all right. I'm actually good. Don't need that. Okay. And so the fill is there. So now this time I will um, take these. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can still select all. Copy it. We did have a bit of space to work with. Uh, reference point for copy. Sure. So I can even give myself a little bit more space, like that, like that. Okay, and then I can go in zoom into here, grab my edge cuts can I select this? nope delete, delete and then come back up here same thing here And now I just need to join these guys. Like 
like that. Okay, I want to measure to make sure we're still good on our dimensions. Yeah, 85.9 by 84.45, so still well within the penalization limit. I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to plot, generate drill files in Gerber, generate drill file close and then I'm gonna take this edge cuts no courtyards don't need that mask mask silk silk copper copper and plot I think there I'm okay without refill there we go and again, I will zip those files and bring you back on JLC's site. And here we are back on JLC PCB's website. And hit the quote now. I'm not sure if it remembers the Gerber. No. So I'm going to add the Gerber. And so this is the old one. And I should have a new one. Yeah, up here. Triple five PWM two fixed. Open this up. And here we go. So we have the same price, 263. I'm going to grab the Gerber viewer, take a look. Let's see if the pads are filled this time. Very odd Gerber viewer because I can't. There we go. I can zoom in. Ah, there we go. So you see, that's the 12 volts to the load. That's the 12 volts. This will actually feed the board. This will come to the load. Uh, from the load to here. And now this should go to ground. So that should be on the back side then. So if I'm able to... How do you flip this around? Oh, bottom. Derp. Uh, okay. Now should be able to find ah there we go so the top one here does go to ground so that should be good enough for taking a look I can actually read this now this is very nice thank you for your support huge thanks to my patreons that's very nice oh I had the chance to adjust this lettering oh well that's all right so here it is uh, I think I will go ahead and order we will see how much of an ordeal that is and then when I get them in hand, we can keep going on this little project. So I want to thank you again for watching. If you have any comments, if you saw some stuff that, um, that I messed up, which is very possible. Again, I'm still just learning like some of you guys. Um, put it in the comments below. But other than that, I'll see you next time.